You're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. That's your fault. Maybe your market's good. You just, you, no tip, no trip 2.0. You can't make money delivering to miserable scumbags that don't tip you. If you would have been a little bit more selective, you would have made profits. I, pro I guarantee it. Obviously, you had to have seen some delivery things on Reddit. No tip, no trip. Most human beings don't, don't give you cash. You can't take the crap. Acceptance rate doesn't matter. You don't need to take the crap. I, get it through our brains, guys. We have, to, we have to educate these people. The more drivers that will stop taking the orders, if enough drivers did that. I don't have good restaurants that I would have to be taking these orders. I would never get any, I would not make any money. You know what I'm saying? So what they're trying to claim is that if you had 70% or 80% or 90% or 100%, you have more access to more orders and you get more priority the higher your percentages are. But really, Let's, I'm not willing to take that gamble with how much I work, how much I drive to do that because I've been gifted Top Dasher many times. I've been gifted it three times. Yep. They gave it to me once after a crash for like four days and I scheduled out as long as I could. And now they gave it to me for a whole month. So the other times were two times or two weeks, one time was one week. So like I have seen no significant difference. I went out. All right. So <clears throat> Pedro is calling them scumbags. The reason why I call him one is because he calls everyone else that is just a regular person one. So he said, let me call them one too. That don't work. Um, secondly, he said, if everyone goes and not takes orders, then that should he doesn't want anyone to actually get to the point to where they can see what they're doing. Okay. Third of all, you saw Bud Soda there say that he got Top Dasher four times gifted. He got it twice for like one week and another week. And he got it once for a whole month. He also said that during that time, he saw no offer that was right and it's not worth it. He never accepted any order. You guys have to understand this, that once you get it, you then implement yourself in accepting the orders to see. Now, once you get there, you're going to see your orders. I do this every single month. I am never not a top driver. I see it every month. They send me the quality customers before they send them to you. No matter how close they live to the restaurant, if they live close, they're going to send me the person, even though it says 365, four bucks they're gonna send me that quality customer because you you guys don't get a chance to, that's why they don't send it to you. I can't explain something that you will never understand. And Hannibal was sitting up there listening. UDM was sitting up there saying, well, you did 120 something deliveries. UDM, okay. You said, I never thought about doing 126 deliveries in one, in one month. Okay. Or one week well check this out those 126 deliveries here's what you are not equating into a lot of those are gonna be like 0.8 to 1.5 miles so he can actually do all of those and still get back and get the work done and not be wasting gas like that and still be done ahead of time and still do his own thing I've been preaching that you guys don't get that but I understand that when you do other platforms that's not DoorDash or Uber Eats, you have other things associated to what you are doing with the client that you have a contract with, you can actually do other things so when you don't need to do that. But all I'm saying is that this, when you do choose that app, just accept the orders and your acceptance rates and everything goes up so that when you do sign on to that app, they're gonna give you quality things, not things that you are like, wow, now it's up to you to star your favorite places, to know your favorite restaurants, to know all of that. You have to know all of that. Ava, isn't that right? Say yes, Mahma. No, you know, you don't know. You don't gotta say no, no, stand right here. No, on this side, I'm taking my daughter to school. Ava, is that right? Yes. Why is it right? Mm -hmm. You don't even know what I'm talking about, huh? Yep, and my daughter's smart. She is not gonna answer because I taught her, if you don't know what you're talking about, don't say nothing at all.